Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we'll be talking about provisioning an express route circuit. So basically the task that we're going to perform here is first we're going to create and provision an electric route circuit and then we're going to retrieve the service key. And then we're going to deprovision the uh, express route circuit and clean up the resources. So this is the architecture that we're going to create. So we're going to create a uh, express route circuit express circuit and we're going to connect it to the uh, Equinix which is a third party provider uh, which is in Seattle so this is the one that we're going to create today so let's go ahead and create so for that uh, let's go to the create resources and here you can see the networking click that in the networking you should find uh, the express route so I'm not finding any express route so just search here so now we can see there is an express route click it so you have the express route here uh, if you want to know more about you can uh, read the information so now just go ahead and create So add your subscription. So here I don't have any resource group. And in this case, I'm selecting the region as uh, East US2 according to the Microsoft Docs. And here I'm going to create a resource group since I don't have any. So the name of the resource group is Express Route. Group. Okay, so it's been created and uh, coming to the name it's test ER circuit click it so this is the one and uh, review and create so we got an error so I forgot to give the configurations here so coming to the port type you can see there is a two options which is a provider as well as direct so coming to the provider, for example, if you select the provider, uh, you are connecting to a service provider in order to access the Microsoft network. So it is act acting as a provider. For example, if you select the direct, uh, it's an express route direct resource and you want to use it to connect directly to the Microsoft global network. So in this case, we are using the provider, which is a third party. So let's go ahead and create new one instead of importing. So here I'm going to select, oh shit. So here I'm going to select so we're gonna select uh, Equinix great and uh, coming to the peering location it should be Seattle so as we have seen the diagram before so Seattle and coming to the bandwidth I'm selecting the minimum one and coming to SKUs, I'm uh, using uh, premium SKU. Coming to the billing, let it be unlimited. You can change if you want uh, from unlimited to meter. And uh, coming to allow classic, here I'm clicking no. So to know more about uh, these options, you can just click here to know more about it. So this is the pretty much settings so I believe uh, if you select premium you can't change it to like standard uh, whereas if you click standard you can change it to premium but whereas there is no such limitations in the billing model uh, you can uh, do whatever you want so if you want unlimited you can keep it or you can change meter to unlimited or unlimited to meter accordingly so pretty much the same I'm clicking review and create so the validation will be successful because uh, now we have done everything correctly and uh, let's go ahead and create well now it's in process so let's uh, wait for a few like maybe one two minutes it will be done So each and every option has uh, like certain meaning. So you can just uh, check the GitHub link that I have provided uh, below. So 
so the next stage is we have to retrieve the service key so basically you can do it same way that we have done before uh, while uh, going to the networking and then you have to select uh, express route circuits and there you can uh, go to that location however uh, once the deployment is done even you can reach the resource from here as well so i think from here it's more comfortable than you know going to the networking and uh, a few other tasks so let's wait for some time so in this case when uh, when the circuit is completed we can see that the provider status is not provisioned but whereas the circuit status is enabled and this is because we are using the third party so that is the reason it's not provisioned so it should be come to the third party so obviously it will be not provisioned so once it's done we'll just get the service key and uh, we'll try to deprovision the circuit there you go so once it's done you can see you can go to the resources so here you can see the circuit status is enabled whereas the provider status is not provisioned so the current state is not provisioned it will be only changing to provision when uh, the connectivity provider is currently enabling it for you so in this case they are not providing us so it's the same so this is your service key so now let us deprovision the circuit so this is the let me show you so this is the thing that we have done here we have created and we have connected uh, with the equinix which is in seattle so i guess uh, everything makes sense now so so now we can delete your resources And you can also resource from your uh, cloud shell so i have already used it so that is the reason i'm directly opening the terminal whereas for you if that is the first time you have to use the storage so there, is, there will be option where you have to enable your storage so here you can use uh, so you can see you can also use this command in order to remove so this is the resource group name that we have created so if that is uh, the other resource group you just need to change the name like this so it will be deleted for you so pretty much this is uh, today's video so hope you guys have uh, understood the concept of uh, provisioning an express route circuit uh, based on the architecture that we have seen before so if you have liked the video please click the like below and if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and thank you guys